As is now Bond tradition, the 007 stage at Pinewood Studios will play host to the film's final showdown. Special effects supervisor Chris Corbould and his team of explosives experts will systematically blow the set apart around the action. Once I've got where he's going story-wise and then the set design, I can start working with Mark to how we achieve the explosion, what he wants to see from the explosion, and how big the explosion is and where the actions are. Early on, Chris Cobble and I spoke about how we will work on the final sequence. The flames are an incredibly important element in the sequence, uh, not just the color, but also the way the explosions would happen, what color they would have, and how they would affect the actors. <laughs> That's good, because we're going to do that inside the stage, and where you see the dummy now is where I and the stunt guy's going to be, so we wanted to check that all the debris and the fallout of the glass and go anywhere near them, which it hasn't, so we're very pleased with that. We've got a replica set where we're going to be going through every piece of that action, every ceiling drop, every explosion that's in there, and then Daniel and Olga will come over and get confident with the flames. I think we would have, once we've done the first drop, we will set up stage flames and flames. We will get you coming through the door and, you know, through the flames, yeah. Are you ready? And three, two, one, action! And three, two, one, action! Three, two, one, fight! quite a bit of time to figure out how is Elvis gonna die. Um, yeah, um, well, again, I trust them all, although um, I'm about to do the test, so, well, um, we'll find out. large sequences are really happening back to back to back. That's part of what working on one of these movies is. You might be shooting, a, you will be shooting a huge sequence one week, but at the same time we're shooting this, we're prepping for this huge sequence we're going to be shooting the following week. It never stops. You're never in a room with two people talking for that long. <laughs> leaving a lot of time for people to breathe in this movie. We, we have tremendous facilities and, and opportunities making a bomb movie because we spend a lot of money making these movies. We have to spend that money wisely. We have to spend it properly. That's what I want an audience to come away, having been blown away, having been transported somewhere else. And if they're the right age, in need of a drink. And if they're not, well, I won't say anything.